Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. Today, it's actually a beautiful day. I'm going to show you the beautiful day. And I'm going to show you, um, oh, I've got, I've got wood chips on me. That's, That's where they're coming, coming from. I was, oh my, i got lots of wood chips on me. I was just, had my head in the hen house looking at Emma. Emma's got four babies so far. She's still, she's still sitting on the nest and still making that clucking sound. Man, I've got a lot of wood chips. That's why they fell off of me when I walked in here. Oh, well, there's more over here. Well, <laughs> when you hang out in the chicken house, you're going to have wood chips on you, I guess. Look at that. Wow. They're all over the place. Too bad they can't see them. I know. It is too bad, but you can't see them. But that's okay. i got more on the floor there, too. Well, I'll make sure I pick and these up. Up high? Up high? Oh, oh, yeah, on my belly. <laughs> I have a belly. No, you don't. Yeah, I do little bit of a belly. Um, wow. Okay, now that I've had fun pulling off the wood chips, I didn't realize I had so many. I will show you the wood chips, of the other wood chips that we shoveled up. Jim helped me shovel them and put them underneath the little covering thing, which would be so good. <laughs> but anyways, and I'm going to show you, we um, also have a little rabbit in a cage that um, was caught because it went underneath the trailer barn, and when it came back out, it got caught in the cage. Is that how it happened? Or yep. it went in, yeah. Um, and so then Jim took it for a motorcycle ride, and he brought it to the farm and let it go there so that it can have a free life to live in the woods and um, find a new family of rabbits to play with, maybe. I don't know what they do. I have no idea. He let it go by this trailer so it can always hide and dig a hole underneath the trailer if it wishes. And that, I guess, and you're going to see maybe a little bit of Emma and her one baby. She has four, but Every time I try to catch them, I'm not catching them. She keeps them hidden very well. But you'll see, um, I think it's one, maybe two. I don't even know how many you'll see because I've gone out there several times trying to catch the babies. And I'm not catching. But she did snap at my camera. You'll hear her hit the camera. And it startled me a little bit. It might startle you too if you watch. So watch for that where she pecks at the camera. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. Today it's gorgeous out. And because of all the rain, we have ditches, as you can see. It's not the most convenient. But we had to ditch everything to make things drain. Whoa, I don't want to lose my balance. We had to drain everything. And the water pushed all my wood chips down below and you see my chickens they're all sitting on it they're thinking this is the king of the mountain game hello there oh you're the one that loves the rooster and the rooster she just kind of sticks with the rooster wherever he goes she goes what's happening in there and we had to dig a trench here too oh this is so so not nice anymore then we had to stack paving stones and put a board here so they could get in and go up into the little house or go on to the big roost. And it's really muddy. It's bad. Bad muddy. And here's where they got to lay their eggs because I have this as a nursery right now. See, I put the dog cage on the um, door so nobody can bother Emma. And Emma's back there with her water and her and the little baby food and oh I can see one of the babies. Oh let you see. Can you see it? Right there. Yeah, Emma, I see that one. That one's the one that hatched out the day the other day. I don't know if you have any more or not. But you have that one. 
Hello, baby. Don't go away. Oh, ouch, Emma. Don't hit the camera. Emma, did you hear that? Emma snapped at it. She doesn't want anybody to bother. And here's where they're laying my eggs because they have to be out here. And these are all real eggs today. I took the fake ones out. I will bring these in. Go back in the sunshine. Open the gate. Step over the ditch. Just the joys of, of everything. Close the gate. But yep, that's what's happening. And now this is where all of the wood chips, the water pushed them down to it. She must have laid her egg, the one that was in the box. She's telling us, oh, there's a black one talking too. They announce eggs. I'm going to bring these in the house and come back for the other. We'll check if she left me one or if they were just making noise to make noise. Oh, she left me one. Okay. Oh, it's nice and warm. Two more girls are waiting to get in the boxes, I think. Today we made Voon's soup again. It is so good. I put in an extra can of spinach in it, and I put an extra can of mushrooms in it. But Jim's going to dish his up, and then you can see what it looks like besides under the cover. There we go. Oh, look how good. Mm -mm -mm. Whoops, it steamed up. And get back a little ways. There we go. Lots of spinach. I like spinach. There's chicken in there, and there's the beef meatballs in there. Mushrooms. Lots of spinach. And chicken stock. It is so, so, so good. Then we'll put a little Romano cheese on it. That looks so good. Want to get a little juice? And then you can put it over there and put some cheese on it if you're going to. Beautiful. Then we put cheese on it. And it tastes so good. It's really green because I put the extra um, spinach in it. And it will be, that, that hunk is getting old and it starts it's to get harder hard. to harder to um, grate. But. And there's snow on the mountain. This is the imported Pecorino Romano. This is what it is. And this is our last block. We have no more after that, and that one's pretty hard, I'm sure, too. Tasty. Very. Oh. Hey Jim, notice something trying to dig underneath the garage door here and it's a rabbit. There you are, little bunny. You're going for a ride. Yes, you are. You're going to go somewhere. I know you're scared, but you're going to go for a little ride. It's going to take a, you're going to get a motorcycle ride. Look at you. You get to go on the, mo it's a beautiful day for this ride. Yeah, he's pretty big. Yeah, it is. Gets to go and be free, huh? No, I won't. Probably have to put him in my seat. Will he fit in the trunk? You take the stuff out. You're going for a little ride, little boy or girl. Whatever you want. Glad it was a rabbit and not something worse, like a skunk. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Oh, it'll fit. Well, enjoy your ride, little one. You're going up on the hill. We'll see you maybe down to the farm. Too. Or down to the farm. That'd be fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. Enjoy your little ride. I'll take take a picture of you leaving. <laughs>
since we're not riding, you can just go for a ride. You might be my thumbnail. <laughs> oh dear, they'll think they're getting a motorcycle ride out of you. I don't think so. And off, I can't even see. Goodbye. Off he goes. Okay.